Hey, welcome everyone. Today we're going to dive into the fascinating episode called How Coffee Got Bad, Then Worse, and Finally Good Again. Let's talk about coffee. Today we're going to explore how coffee started, changed, and became popular again. Remember, you can find this episode and more on the official sites. We have Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and also we have the official websites where, where you can find and learn a little more about your recipes and also learn about the history behind those recipes. In this episode, you're going to learn about uh, different aspects. First of all, coffee's origins. Coffee began in Ethiopia and later spread to places like Yemen, especially for businesses purposes. Second one, culture. Coffee shops became popular in the Ottoman Empire for discussions and social time. What I mean with this is that people get together in order to discuss and share ideas about their future. Also, this episode mentioned about uh, something about the, a challenge that coffee faced uh, in that era. A plant disease treats coffee production until a stronger variety was discovered. And finally, the modern uh, coffee culture. Today, we appreciate coffee more focusing on quality and fire trade. Well, I found some interesting facts uh, related with coffee. First of all, coffee faced a crisis in the 90s due to a plant disease leading to the discovery of robust coffee plants. It's almost the same that I mentioned before. Second one, the invention of the espresso machine in 1901 revolution coffee uh, making methods. It's to make our life easy. And finally, the instant coffee gained popularity during the World War II for its convenience and long shelf life. Well, why I choose this topic? Well, first of all, uh, something related with culture. I'm fascinated by how coffee has uh, evolved over time in, in its and um, its impact on global culture. Also, uh, learning about new coffee technology and how it affects our coffee experience, our taste. Well, something related with my personal experience. I usually enjoy uh, coffee with my friends and family during my leisure time. And also, I have the opportunity to taste various coffee types during some trips, uh, such as Colombia and Brazil. However, if I have to choose one, just one kind of coffee for the rest of my life, it could be the coffee from my tongue. For me, uh, it represents the warmth of the people. To conclude, Coffee's rich history from its origins in Ethiopia to becoming a global staple. The evolution of coffee making techniques and the impact of technological improvements. Uh, trying to summarize everything, coffee continues to bring people together, fostering a connection and conversation across cultures. That's the end of my presentation. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.